Viewers were recently shocked to see Irene's life spiral out of control after being scammed by the cunning con woman, Bronte Langford. The moment Bronte was led into the cells at Yavi Creek Police Station, her cruel remark that she just needed a stupid, gullible, old woman cut Irene to the core. After nine years of sobriety, Irene succumbed and bought herself a bottle of whiskey to numb her pain. Initially, Irene managed to keep her relapse hidden, but her friends noticed a troubling change in her demeanor. Downward spiral became glaringly apparent during a disastrous interview with the Coastal News. The situation took a dramatic turn when John unexpectedly turned up at her house, finding Irene weeping over a broken bottle of alcohol. Though Irene agreed to attend an AA meeting and reassured John she was back on track, the facade quickly crumbled. With John away visiting his son Jed and daughter-in-law Lindsay. John, suspicious after a recent dinner party, followed Irene and caught her disposing of empty bottles near the surf club. When he confronted her with the evidence, Irene, in a fit of rage, declared their friendship over and threw him out. Isolated and pushing everyone away, Irene's dependence on alcohol deepened. In a heartbreaking scene, she hits the whiskey heart. Attempting to climb the stairs in her drunken state, she loses her balance and falls. The crash of her body hitting the bottom of the stairs is sickening. As Irene lays unconscious, the critical question looms, will she be found before it's too late? 